We gather in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We are all one in mission. We are all one in call. Our Our very very gifts united united by by Christ Christ, the Lord Lord of all. all. It is not the church which has a mission, but but it is God's God's mission mission which has a church. We are the church, the body of our Lord. We are all God's children, and we have been restored. Let us join together in speaking God's mission for Peace Lutheran Church. By God's grace, we grow and share our faith, welcoming all and striving to live in the spirit and love of Christ. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be and abide with you all. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, we implore you to hear the prayers of your people. Be our strong defense against all harm and danger, that we may live and grow in faith and hope through Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord. Amen. Today's scripture lesson comes from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23. Woe to the shepherds who destroy and scatter the sheep of my pasture, says the Lord. Therefore, thus says the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the shepherds who shepherd my people. It is you who have scattered my flock and have driven them away, and you have not attended to them. So I will attend to you for your evil doing, says the Lord. Then I myself will gather the remnant of my flock out of all the lands where I have driven them, and I will bring them back to their fold, and they shall be fruitful and multiply. I will raise up shepherds over them who will shepherd them, and they shall not fear any longer or be dismayed, nor shall any be missing, says the Lord. 
The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety. And this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The word of the Lord. Let us pray. Mighty God of mercy, we thank you for the resurrection dawn, bringing the glory of our risen Lord who makes every day new. Especially we thank you for the sustaining goodness of your creation, for the new creation in Christ and all gifts of healing and forgiveness, for the gifts of relationship with others, for the communion of faith in your church. Merciful God of might, renew this weary world, heal the hurts of all your children, and bring about your peace for all in Christ Jesus, the living Lord. Especially we pray for those who govern nations of the world, for the people in countries ravaged by strife or warfare, for all who work for peace and international harmony, for all who strive to save the earth from carelessness and destruction. For the Church of Jesus Christ in every land. O oh God, you have called your servants to ventures of which we cannot see the ending, by pathways as yet untrodden, through perils unknown. Give us faith to go out with good courage, not knowing where we go but only that your hand is leading us and your love supporting us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit bless you, defend you from all evil, and bring you to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.